Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be recreating this look. Um, it's like a burnt orange smoky eye. It's the makeup look that I do pretty much every day and I'm going to just kind of talk you through how best to blend your eyeshadows and kind of get that flawless finish on your eyes. Um, yes, my hair is very short. Um, I got my extensions out this week and uh, yeah, I'm actually loving it. So I went for a bit of a darker route as well, um, just kind of keep it in good condition and give my hair a little bit of a break as well. Um, it took one or two days to get used to, but uh, yeah, I actually really like it. I'm happy, so. On to the video, so here we go. Okay, so I forgot to say here, I've just gone in with my base of a primer. The one I'm using is from Makeup Forever. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my Giorgio Armani Silk Luminous Foundation in 3.5 um, and I just use this kind of kabuki style brush. So here I'm just dabbing the foundation into the skin and also buffing it around in circular motions. Sometimes I also go in with a beauty blender just to finish it off. Um, once I have finished my foundation, I go in with my Kat Von D Locket Concealer and mine's L3 Warm. And I just put it all under here. Gotta cover up those bags. And then I put it down the middle of my nose. Do a little bit on the bottom of my chin. On my cupid bow. I drag it up in between my eyebrows and then I just And then I just blend that in with a flat blending brush. You can also, sometimes I use um, a sponge, but uh, today I'm just gonna use this. So once I have my concealer um, all buffed in, then I just go in with the Kat Von D Lock It powder. Um, it's just like a translucent powder and I use a kind of big blending brush from Inglot. And I just go under my eye to set that. Um, this one's quite white, so it's good for like, as they say, baking the under eye. Um, so I wouldn't put this all over my face, I just kind of, where I want it to be a little bit lighter, which is usually where I put my concealer. And there we go. Just to make sure I don't get any lines. But yeah, I'd mainly put this underneath my eyes. And then I'd go in with my uh, MAC um, Studio Fix in MC30 and uh, just put that on the rest of my face. Okay, so now onto the eyes. So I just went in and I set my eyes with um, Painterly Paint Pop by MAC. Um, and now I'm going in with my Buff Eyeshadow um, and I'm just using Inglot Brush 6SS. And then I literally. Just make sure you're not too much on the brush. Go all over my lid with this. This is my favorite color. And when I'm blending it, I just kind of go in circular motions. I think that's the key with getting like a really flawless eye is just don't go in with loads of eyeshadow initially. And just use small bits and build it up and just keep blending it out. Then once you're happy with um, your kind of base colour, uh, I then go in with the darkest brown from the Coco palette from Inglot. Um, and I'm just going in on my MAC brush, which has no paint on it, so I'll have to find that out. And then I'm just going to put this blended into just my crease. So I kind of focus more so on the outside and then I drag the product in. And I just do this again in like circular motions. So little circles on the outside and then I just pull it in. Just don't go in with like a whole load of colour initially, just kind of build it up as you go and it just makes it a bit easier to blend it in together. Then for underneath my eyes, I kind of just work backwards. So I use a little kind of brush like this and I go with the darker color and I just go underneath my waterline. 
If I was going on a night out and I was looking to have a more dramatic eye, I'd first go in with black and I would blend the black right underneath my waterline. I would then go in with the darker brown. And then once I'm happy with that colour, then I go back in with the lighter colour and I just blend out underneath with the lighter colour. If you don't want as dramatic of an eye as I've gone for here, you can leave out this step and you can just go in with one brown underneath the waterline. But um, this is just how I would generally do my eyes. And to highlight underneath my brow, I go in with this colour. You can't really see it. This colour. It's called Nylon and it's by MAC. And I just use a flat brush that I actually got in my Urban Decay set. And I just kind of pull my brow up and then I go. I don't pull the highlighter down the whole way to the front of the brow. I kind of stop it just a bit before because... I just prefer that look. Sometimes I think if you pull it right down to the the whole way down through your brow, it can look a little bit severe. In my opinion, each to their own. If you're into it, that's okay. Once I have finished the highlighter, I just go back in with my original colour and re-blend. Okay, so just off camera, I just did my eyebrows and my eyeliner. Um, just because it takes ages. So if you would like to see... A video of me doing my eyebrows I can do a separate video just comment below and let me know. Now I'm going to go in and do my contour so I'm just using this little palette from Inglot and I'm going to use this to contour so I just pat a bit on my brush and then I just kind of swipe it on my hand just to make sure there's not too much on and then I go from the top of my ear about halfway down. So similar to every other step when I've been doing my makeup, I just make sure to blend in the product in circular motions and um, just to make sure that it is all blended in correctly. And then I just put a little bit under each. And then a bit just around my forehead. I contour my nose. I don't even know if it makes a difference, but I do it. And then I just go and I get my buffer brush that I use to do my powder and I just kind of buff it in then because you just don't want like two brown lines inside your nose. I'm next going to do my blusher, so I'm going to use this. I do it on like the apples of my cheeks but then I kind of drag it back up as well. I'm going to do my highlighter which I use Soft and Gentle by MAC and then I just use one of these kind of contoury brushes as well. And I just put it just on top of where like my contour and my blush was. I also added the highlighter just down the bridge of my nose. Next I'm going to do my lips so I'm just using um, a Penny's lip liner and also a Penny's lip kit. Um, This lip liner and liquid lipstick that I'm using comes in a set and it's from Penny's. You can pick them up and they're only four euro. Once they're lined, can I just go in with this? I'm a big fan of liquid lipsticks and this one from Penny's is amazing. It's really creamy and stays on all day. Okay, so this is... Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, I just went in with my Sosumi lashes in Sarah, uh, and I think the main thing would be when I'm doing my makeup is to have, you know, your initial blending brush that you're going to do your base with, the one you're going to do your crease with, and then always have a clean blending brush that you can go back over and kind of blend all the colours in together um, to get that kind of flawless finish. Um, but this is it anyway. Hope you can see. I know my camera's not great, so um yeah so that's it and if you guys want to see more videos where i'm talking you through the makeup look then comment below let me know um yeah and also if you liked this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and then until next time i'll see you later